the Nets. Denoye trying to work it in front, but it'll be broken up and brought back by Slovakia. Far side, big hit there as Hamilton steps into his man. High stretch pass, bouncing puck, and that'll go the distance for a stoppage. And a trade with Seattle after Seattle had gone two deep runs in the Western Hockey League, and it's no accident that TJ Ginla exploded onto the scene last year under the tutelage of Chris Millett. Now having opportunity to work with these kids. Here at the Olinka Gretzky turnover, shot in. First test, an easy one. Last year playing in Vancouver, you score 30 goals in the Western Hockey League, it is hard to do. And as a 16-year-old, really impressive what that young man is capable of doing. And he'll continue to be a prolific offensive player as the years go on. Somehow kept off the score sheet last night, so he's got his first of the tournament. Greshny in over the blue line. Gite with a shot blocker the way by Fidel. Gite had a couple in the tournament opener. Now it'll be poked away. Brought up the right side. Svercek drops it off. They'll try to get it to the front of the goal, but it's turned back around. Two Canadians go in to try to knock it loose. Working. Down low there against Hovar. Hovar back up to the point. Bobble bounces over goalie stick. And he's got to retreat to center ice. Now they'll mix in a lot of contact. Power play for Canada. McKenna will go to work. Goes to Schmidt. Down low. Gite waiting on the near boards. Schaefer walks the line. Bring it across. Gite pass in his feet. Straka, chance to clear, gets it out of the zone. Schaefer controls it, quickly throws it over to McKenna. McKenna, winding up, cutting inside, hit over the blue line, almost split the D, had it knocked away. Gite's got it back, throws it across, Smith. McKenna will have it and give it to Gite. One-timer coming, Pridell meets him there and makes the save, bounces into the corner. And now played in behind the net. The goal scorer, Schmidt, comes up with it. Leaves it for McKenna, poked away from him. Tries to get it back, can't do it. And it's played all the way down the ice by Andreas Straka. You want to have a chance to win, those are the penalties you cannot take. Denoye won it cleanly. Tried to throw it across to Gite, but it's broken up. And zone cleared from Straka. McKenna wheels back, picks it up, look at him go through the neutral zone, cuts to the middle, drops it off, Gite thought about it, now he'll just toss it up, blue line, Schaefer, back to Gite, side of the goal, Gite again, no shot yet, a little bit of pressure, dumps it off to Schaefer, now McKenna, down into the corner for Schmidt, Schmidt dumps it in behind the net, Denoye moves it up the board. Sigite, Canada, stuck on the outside for now. Good look in front of the score. What a feed. What a finish. A second one. Now pulled back towards the point. Playing kept it in. Denoye will be first on it. Forced in behind the goal. Rashka reverses it. He's kept in there, sliding down from the point. Jackson Smith. Knocks it in behind the goal. Wang keeps it in again. Nemitz, another chance to clear. This time, they'll get it done. Well, you can see Slovakia picking up their skating legs and playing a little bit quicker, forcing Canada into some mistakes. Wang moves it around. Smith couldn't keep it in, and there's Alex Wang back. On D to make the play. The bench, take a deep breath and realize, hey, I'm okay. But one of the things when you're playing a team like Canada who can be relentless on the forecheck and really make you feel uncomfortable in your own zone, it's almost like you have to get yourself into just really good position and not chase. And, and just, you know, because the more you chase them, they're quick enough and fast enough and skilled enough to, to take advantage of them. 
And right now, you watch Slovakia, how they play. Just, okay, we're just gonna post up. We're gonna just play it there. We're not gonna chase around. No thread into the middle of the ice around the net. Hamilton down into the corner. Denoye comes in there as well. Pokes it around far side. Nemich drops it back. Denoye comes in, finishes his check. And Canada will keep it in the zone. Rushney down into the corner. Denoye in to help him out. See, this is where the problem, Slovakia did everything right positionally. And then they don't get the puck out. Now Canada can make a line change, and now you've run yourself into your own problem. You got to go through it again. Yeah, now. you do. And, and now you're tired. Here's Five a chance. Seven in two games here. DJ threw it into the middle. Brought back of ice by Slovakia. Trying to drive it wide. Struck a backhander. And Beckman. Gobbles it up, no rebound to be seen. Two dinners. Yeah. Craig, I can't believe you asked me the same <laughs> question that you, when you told me the answer last night. <laughs> and I'm, e I'm easy. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be an expensive meal. Yeah. Oh, Shane knocks it ahead. Nice play. Denoye walking up. Rushney will go to the goal, throws it across to him. Fredell got the pad down. And a penalty coming up. Samuel Murin. Doesn't work and Schaefer's away. Left side, Rushney. Tried to go back to Schaefer. Slides right across. And Pradell is there waiting for it. With he, well, yeah. It's taking him a little bit of time. And maybe people are impatient. But he certainly looks like he's a real key and important player right now. And, and going to be for the Rangers for years to come. For a really good team, too. Yeah. Right? Working his way up. They should start to pay off. People forget, and, and, and they do, is that Nathan McKinnon was the first overall pick in the NHL draft in 2013. He won the Rookie of the Year. And then the next three years, like, like he was he was good. That, like, full stop, he was good. And then in his fifth year is when he just, where he just took right off to another level, and he hasn't stopped since. I mean, the reigning MVP of the National Hockey League. So... As good as Nathan was in Rookie of the Year, it wasn't until his fifth year in the league that he took those massive steps for him. Even with the top end guys, it's never no. an easy path for everyone. Trying to pull it within one. It looked like the game was getting. Here's a turnover side of the goal, and Beckman scrambles back and gets the pad down. Tomek up top. Another one fired just wide. Blocker side. Slovakia cranking it up a notch here for the first time tonight. on couldn't get it cleanly it's gonna come all the way back around Thomas Kovic takes it in behind the net heads up he gets caught shot through and Beckman this time to take another step in his career Cole's a really good offensive player really showed strong signs last year but here we are again talking about you know the 10th overall pick you know playing in the NHL but it doesn't always happen as fast as everybody wants. Reshi walking in, trying to slide it back home. Brunel is down, and Slovakia will clear. Good burst from Reshni. Five points in the opener. Shevel Dayoff scheduled to join us on a broadcast tomorrow. John Cooper, Doug Armstrong coming up in the second intermission of this, isn't one. it? <laughs> Face-off, scrambled. Denoye wins it back to the right point. Now poke down the ice, pass push in. No icing here, already waved off. Hamilton back on it for Canada. Uses the far boards, misses everybody. All the way down on Pridell, who knocks it to an open wing. Denoye walks off the wall, sends one towards the goal, and Pridell, steady as she goes. Hangs on to that one as well with the pushing and shoving the netminder will escape the chaos. One goal gave this group a little bit of belief. The tie out and down the ice. 
And that will do it for the second period. Canada with a 3-1 lead. Tenoye and Reshny in behind the net. Zubek now, long shift for a big 20 in blue. Looks exhausted along the boards. Reshny trying to knock it past him. Now he, now he will as it slides down low. Gite waiting in the high slot. He'll play it behind the goal. And Slovakia control and clear here. Zubek a backhander. And that one does sneak out. Gite's on it. Back to Smith. Smith for both clubs. Zubek drops it back. Holman, Slovakian captain, bumped along the boards. Samuel Moran watching as well. Now here's a stretch pass. Bayonne walking in. And he's hacked as he went to shoot it. And he'll get sent to. <laughs> Trying to go on the offense <laughs> as the Rough Riders try to play good defense. Rough Riders tied at 20 with the Rough Riders. Here's an opportunity in front. Fridell again. My goodness, he's just got better as the game has gone along. Wang now waits, strikes it, takes it. That's wide as well into the corner. Zubek off the glass, down the ice. Tomka. Tied up his man and was eventually sent towards the goal. And... You blew it! Gercek has the only goal in the game for Slovakia. Battles down low. Taken away by Schaefer. Moves it ahead. Coots far side. Back up top. Drives towards the goal. Perdell is down. And we see a line change here as... Coots is now playing with Kite and Denoye. And it was Rush Rushney up on that top thing. Denoye wins it cleanly. Schaefer drops it off. One timer and they score. Making quick work of it. Kite the one timer. Back of the net. 4 1 Canada. Six seconds. Denoye wins it. Schaefer quickly. Decides to swing back and head to the bench. Ice, ice. This one down the ice. No icing. Far side. Sammy Moran is there. Canadian zone. Coots. Controls. Circles back. Finds a man on the far side. That's over a stick. Down the ice. And that one goes unassisted. And the Canadians on the verge of a Expected 2-0 start. Beckman comes out to play it. We'll move it around to Kettles. Gives it away right up the middle. Another crack at it. Coots will skate it away. Plays it down into the corner. Held up slightly. Still hustles in. Heavy, heavy collision as he goes into the boards. Ooh, and then he drops. Cheap shot as he was going to get up. And that'll be a penalty. 